We start the walk at the Minnow on Thames Street in Weybridge and walk up Thames Street past the Old Crown pub and the entrance to Portmore Park before turning off at the Grotto Road. We pass the entrance to the Portmore Park estate which was designed in the 1700s or circa 1700. Portmore Park was one of the large estates in Weybridge and stretched from the High Street to the Way Navigation but was sold off in the 1880s and redeveloped. Grotto Road was named after the splendid grotto that was in the grounds of Oatlands Park and was unfortunately demolished in 1947. We are also a stone's throw from the last remaining arch in the palace built by Henry VIII. Look for Tudor Walk just off West Palace Gardens, which is just up Grotto Road. History lesson over, we turn left at Grenside Road and follow the road which is behind St George's School. When we reach the, the barrier, the footpath we need is on our right. In 2017, this new footpath was opened along the north side of Broadwater to Cowie Sale, with an optional return along the Thames towpath to the Minnow, making a three mile walk. For fishing enthusiasts, Broadwater has carp and is sourced by a spring near St George's School. At the far end, the lake flows into Engine River and then the Thames. The lake is on our right a short distance after joining the pathway and is approximately a mile long. On the south side, you will see the Oatlands Park Hotel with its lovely panoramic views over West London and lovely garden furniture. Further down, it turns mainly to apartments on the south side, but these are mainly hidden by trees that are between the path and the lake. Broadwater was originally connected to the Thames, which was tidal all the way to Staines. It was here Henry VIII disembarked from his barge when visiting the palace in, we in Weybridge. To ensure he arrived at the correct time, he had special maritime clocks manufactured to indicate the time of the tides. As we come to the end of Broadwater, we traverse the footbridge into a large open space, turn to the right and continue to follow the path as it meanders to the next footbridge. After following the path around the open space, we come to a second footbridge, which we cross and then turn to the left, which will take us to Cowie Sale Car Park on the River Thames. On reaching the Thames, we turn in the southerly direction, which is upstream and leads us to Weybridge and the Desborough Cut. We follow the footpath all the way until we reach the Weybridge Ladies Rowing Club. The Desborough Cut is an artificial channel and was completed in 1935 to improve flow and ease of navigation on the river. The cut was dug between 1930 and 35, taking the river on a straight course between Weybridge and Walton and avoiding a meandering stretch past Shepperton and Lower Halliford. It is 1,195 yards in length and its construction created the Desborough Island. The cut alleviated flooded, flooding in Shepperton and halved the distance of travel on the river. After passing Desborough Cut, we reached Doily Cart Island, which was once the property of the Savoy Hotel and apparently used by the hotel owner to entertain special guests. We've just passed the uh, footbridge leading over to the house on Doily Cart Island. And uh, a few yards further on is the ferry to Shepperton, or more specifically a launch. The timetable says it runs every quarter of an hour uh, up until five or six in the evening, depending on the season. But there's also a bell uh, to summon the launch. Just how effective ringing the bell is, I'm not sure. 
We're now at the final stage of our walk and we've reached the weir which is opposite the ladies rowing club. From here we pass through the car park that abuts the Thames and walk approximately 100 yards up Thames Street to get back to the Minnow and some well-deserved refreshment.